Hello friends. Today we are going to learn chapter 1 food and its sources. Let's start. Why do you think we should have a balanced diet? Things we eat that provide us with nutrition are called food. Food is the basic need of all living things. Every organism requires food to survive, grow and carry out various functions of the body. The process by which our body takes in food and used IT for growth and development is called nutrition. Food has some chemical substances called nutrients. These components of foods are needed by our body for maintaining good health. Some living things, such as green plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Living things that can prepare their own food are called autotrophs. Auto means self and trophs means nourishing. Animals and human beings cannot make their own food. They obtain IT from other sources. Such organisms are called heterotrophs. Hetero means another and troph means nourishing. 1. Food supplies the body with energy. Energy is used by the body for doing various activities, such as walking, running, riding, and talking. The heart needs the energy to beat all the time. 2. Food enables the growth and development of the body. A baby grows on to become an adult by taking in nutritious food. 3. Food helps the body to produce new cells that are required to replace old, worn-out cells. The process of building new cells happens round the clock in our body. 4. Food protects our bodies against germs and diseases. IT gives our body the ability to fight infections. Food also has a social function, all festivities happen around food. Food contains one or more items called ingredients. Fruit such as apple and banana is considered to be a single ingredient. Food such as tea may contain several ingredients sugar, tea powder, water, and milk. The ingredients of a food item are cooked in a particular way to bring out the flavor and taste of the food and IT makes the food palatable. Cooking also kills the microorganisms. Cooking softens the food and makes IT easy to digest. There are two types of sources. Plant sources and animal sources. Plant sources are the food we get for plants, for example, potato, tomato, onion, etc. Animal sources are the food we get from animals, for example, meat, egg, milk, etc. There are three types of food habits of animals. Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores are animals that only eat plants and plant products, for example, cows, horses, goats, etc. Carnivores are animals that only eat other animals, for example, lions, tigers, foxes, etc. Omnivores are the animals that eat plants as well as animals, for example, cats, human beings, bears, etc. Scavengers are the animals that feed on the flesh of dead animals that are killed by other animals, for example, vulture, crow, jackal etc. Decomposers are organisms that break down dead and decaying organisms, dead plants, and animals, for example, bacteria and fungi. In nature, some animals eat plants whereas some eat other animals. The feeding habits of animals link them with each other. Please don't forget to like share subscribe our channel. Bye.